Good morning. Welcome to SVM Live. This is our weekly property broadcast for October 7th, 2024. Welcome to fall. Hopefully everyone is preparing <clears throat> for the holidays in the fourth quarter and all that's going to happen uh, between now and the end of the year. We wish you all the very best. As you know, we'd like to begin with some SVN research for you, give you an economic update of what's going on in particular sectors within commercial real estate. All this information is provided to all of our advisors throughout SVN and is available to our clients through them. So let's talk a little about retail sales. Uh, according to the advanced estimates from the U.S. Census, U.S. retail and food services sales rose 0.1% month over month in August and 2.1% over the last 12 months. <clears throat> now, remember, that's sales, not prices. We know it doesn't apply to the prices. They've gone through the roof. Measuring seasonal performance, total sales between June and August were up 2.3%. Uh, from the same period in 2023, which is pretty impressive and uh, <clears throat> really impressive when you consider the tighter economic conditions that most of us in America are feeling right now. Uh, sales for non-store retailers are up 7.8% compared to a year ago, and food services, drinking places are up 2.7 year over year. So even though restaurants are substantially more expensive, their sales are up. So we'll keep an eye on that for you and hope that uh, <clears throat> inflation gets under control and we can get this all back on track for us. Uh, we had some closed transactions. I want to thank all the advisors that sent in their closing slide. You'll probably remember this deal uh, when it was first listed. It's one of the most gorgeous uh, I think it was a build-a-suit, actually, uh, originally, but it's one of the most beautiful buildings up in Grants Pass, Oregon. <clears throat> beautiful mountain community. And uh, Kurt Arthur listed and sold this, $2 million eight at $129 a foot, which is a bargain for the quality of real estate that it is. Congratulations to Kurt. And then, of course, we want to Congratulations like Rudy Duran and Reed Bennett and Dan Short. Two million four fifty-five. They closed this uh, multifamily deal in Illinois. Uh, Blue Door Building, beautiful piece of real estate, paid cash, which is unbelievable, and it prevented the property from going into foreclosure. Uh, they got the buyer from an unsuccessful national auction. That had the money and wanted to buy something. So there you go, 64 units at a bargain price of 38,000 a unit. Cody Reed, Dan, congratulations. And then Nicole Booker uh, just closed this uh, portfolio of single family residential in the heartland of America, Cleveland, Ohio, a million five ninety five, twenty nine 29 units, 55,000 a unit. And you can see on the horizon of this picture, it's proximity to downtown Cleveland. Beautiful real estate, nice job, Nicole. And then Austin Fisher just closed this land parcel down in um, Florida and uh, with the Saunders Ralston Dantzler uh, Land Domination Company, a uh, million seventy-eight thousand dollars multiple parcels and tracks. Uh, it's going to be outstanding uh, opportunity for us to see the development of each of those parcels. I look forward to it. All right, let's talk about our featured inventory this morning. We've got over $52 million of inventory because we've got some subject to offer properties for your consideration and over a million two thirty nine of buy side fee, which of course SVN shares its commissions nationwide, worldwide with anyone that is licensed and close the deals with us. So we look forward to your clients coming in to see. We have an outstanding multifamily opportunity that Bill Menish has been involved with for quite a while. 
knows everything about it. He's got it priced right, and he's going to tell you about it. Thank you, John. Good morning. Good morning, SVN and guests. This is a represent because we launched this back on June 7th, but we quickly put it all, all but one complex under contract at nearly full price. Well, unfortunately, that Florida-based buyer tied it up for months and in the end couldn't get their financing. So here we are back on the market. The seller says that if we can't get them back under contract soon, he may pull them off the market and hold them for 12 months or more. But to incentivize buyers, he is willing to do some owner financing, which we can discuss. He's still refurbishing at a rate of one and a half units a week and has been steadily improving the vacancy rates while increasing rents. Finally, Louisville, Kentucky continues to be one of the hottest markets for multifamily investing with the most recent CoStar report placing us as number three in increased rents compared to the national rental rates. I believe that's why we're getting so much interest outside of Louisville, and I hope that you'll put this in front of your multifamily investor, as we'd love to pay you a little over $591,000 for helping us get this portfolio across the finish line. Thanks so much, John. Have a great day, everyone. All right, Bill. Thank you. And at $93 a foot, everybody on the call and everybody at SVN should be making at least a dozen calls to clients interested in quality real estate in an outstanding market represented by a great advisor. So take a look at that, spend some time with it. Hey, we have another beautiful invitation to go to a resort and lodge by our superstar uh, group out of North Cove, Frank Music, Edward, Emilia, and Mark have another one, $4,995,000, and Brooke's going to tell you about it. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the resort and golf team at SV and North Cove, I'm pleased to present Timber Bay Lodge and Houseboats, a premier destination on Birch Lake near Ely, Minnesota, and the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. This renowned resort has been a cherished destination for families, outdoor enthusiasts, and fishing groups since 1947, offering a serene experience in the heart of nature. The property situated on 1,482 feet of pristine waterfront on Birch Lake features a full-service marina, 14 cabins, 13 houseboats, a boathouse, and an owner's residence. In addition to its current offerings, Timber Bay holds significant potential for further development. A charming office and a gift shop welcomes visitors and all can enjoy a wide range of recreational activities, including swimming at the safe sandy beach, boating, fishing, camping, canoeing, and pickleball. The resort is conveniently located just 15 minutes from Ely, under two hours from Duluth, and less than four hours from the Twin Cities, offering a peaceful escape with easy access to major cities and airports. Surrounded by Birch Lake's 7,000 acres of crystal clear water, Timber Bay offers endless outdoor activities, making it a gem on Minnesota's Northwoods. As one of the most celebrated houseboat rental businesses in the Midwest, Timber Bay represents a unique opportunity for those seeking a blend of natural beauty and a thriving business. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any interest. All right, Brooke, thank you so much. Nothing more fun than a houseboat in the summer. Congratulations to the team on that listing. Hey, let's bring up Shea Booster. Uh, he and uh, Zane Mueller have an outstanding piece of land and we've even got an aerial video to tell you a little more about the ranch. Howdy everyone, Shea Booster from down here in Florida. Appreciate your time. This is about 175 acres outside of Ocala, Florida uh, in Marion County, the horse capital of the world. Uh, really, pr really, really beautiful property. Uh, it's got a approved FAA 3000 foot grass runway, fully operational. It's got a little over two miles of riding trails. It's got um, a, a hangar for your plane or for a buyer's plane. Uh, it's got a hydraulic lift in there. It's got gas tanks. It's got a two by two apartment in that hangar. And then it's also got a, a two by two kind of farmhouse for a ranch hand or anyone staying on the grounds to maintain it. Uh, the property's got fencing and frontage along a, a major county uh, highway. Just a really, really beautiful piece uh, that we're bringing to the market. Buyers are, are welcome from, from anywhere in the world. Uh, a lot of folks from you know the Middle East, from down South Florida, from up in the New York areas that love equine, look to these markets uh, for, for strong investments. So look forward to, to doing a deal with y'all. Boy, it almost looks with that video like it should be a new TV series. Shay, congratulations, my friend. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Thanks for providing great information. All right, let's go to the next one, which is going to be in <clears throat> Pahrump, Nevada. 
Nolan, Eric, and Zachariah have added again, and I think they've got a couple of great opportunities for you this morning. Morning, John. Thank you to everyone for joining the call today. We are excited to present three properties located in the growing market of Peruk, Nevada, about 50 miles west of Las Vegas, ideally situated between the enter entertainment capital of the world and Death Valley National Park. Each property has unique investment potential as well as well as owner user opportunity and uh, we'll go through them one by one a little backstory my partners nolan and eric and i um, took this property and as well as the other properties i'm going to show um, about two and a half to three years ago when we first got these assets they were all mom and pop no triple net leases so we've slowly in collaboration with our property management have brought the majority of the tenants paying cams um, but there's still a little juice on the, a little more juice to squeeze that is on these properties. So um, to start Pahrump Station, this opportunity currently is about 73% occupied um, with below market rents. An investor could come in and uh, release the, the vacancy, uh, increase the current tenants to a market rent, 118 a foot. Great, great opportunity for an investor. Could we go to the next one? You bet. 2340 East Postal Drive. So this opportunity is uh, fully occupied. It's four tenants um, with uh, two buildings, as well as a bay for each suite. Um, we recently leased the last space in this building at $1.50 a square foot plus cam, which is the market for industrial in this area. The other three tenants are on month-to-month -month or short-term leases at very below market rates, about 30 cents plus cam. So this is an opportunity for an owner to come in, purchase the buildings, and uh, get either release the spaces or negotiate with the existing tenants to get those rates up. 125 a foot, great opportunity. Could also work for an owner user. And with your tax advantage, what a great deal. All right, let's take you to exactly. your last Awesome. Um, 1210 East Basin. So this one is 28% occupied. This is just next to the Home Depot, um, as well as uh, many vacant pads that are currently being sold or negotiated on. Um, this is going to be a future development with lots of uh, new tenants coming into the into the area. Um, so this is a good opportunity for an owner user to come in and occupy that 70% that's vacant or to uh, lease at market rates, $184 a foot. Great opportunity. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to Nolan, Eric, or I, and we'd be happy to send you the OM. Also, 3% buy side fee on all these opportunities, um, and we'd love to give it to an SVN advisor. Oh, great. And great market to buy in. There's no question about that. Congratulations. Let's go to Kerry Green and Shara Najad. They have a interesting property in Durham, North Carolina, priced at $2 million four, and Kerry's going to tell you about it. Good morning, John. We actually have two properties, and they happen to be directly adjacent to each other. Uh, different ownerships, so we can't give you any kind of uh, buy one, uh, get one special. <laughs> We'd be happy to sell you both of them. Uh, the first one here is 401 East Chapel Hill Street. It's a two-story mixed-use historic building. It was renovated uh, roughly 10 or 12 years ago. The ground floor is home to a, excuse me, renovated more like 15 years ago. And the ground floor is home to a French restaurant that has been there for 15 straight years and uh, their lease continues. Uh, the upstairs is 3,000 square feet of turnkey uh, office space, uh, ready for occupancy. It's a great open floor plan with uh, a nice mix of office and uh, conference rooms, so a, a sort of a creative uh, footprint. Um, this property is perfect really for an owner occupant who wants to take advantage of that vacancy or for an investor. And uh, we can move on to the next one. 
You can see there on the right, that's the back of the one we just talked about, but this is 204 Rigsby Avenue, and we are selling a street level uh, condo unit, just under 4,000 square feet, also recently renovated. The space was built out as an architect's office, so it has a, as well, a, a very creative floor plan, ready to move in, turnkey. Uh, that being said, uh, food and beverage or some kind of retail is also allowed and may be the next uh, use for this space. So please keep that in mind. Uh, it also has two means of egress, which will make any kind of conversion to a uh, retail or restaurant uh, much easier. And just to throw it in there for fun, we're including a basement level garage where you can park six vehicles and not have to pay $150 a month in the parking deck that you see to the left there. So um, owner occupant is ideal here, investor as well. And of course we'd love to pay you a buy side fee. We've got 3% on both of these properties. All right, any questions, reach out to me or to Shara. Thank you. Yeah, Carrie, tell me about the tenants next door in the white building. What, are, what, what usage is that? Uh, that is actually the, the architect who uh, moved out of this space, moved into that one. Wow. And uh, he, he is an architect and a developer and has essentially developed this whole block. So he wow. moves around as needed. Great. Nice job, Kerry. We sure appreciate you guys. All right, let's go to Chattanooga. Zach Adam and Bianca Pichardo have a beautiful Main Street opportunity for you, and uh, they're going to tell you about it. Hey, good morning, SBN. Uh, Bianca Pichardo and I are excited to present 700 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga. If you had a time machine and you could go back to 1990 and purchase a hard corner in downtown Austin, Texas, it would be a no brainer, right? Well, according to Market Watch, Chattanooga is the next Austin, Texas. As it stands, there's currently over $1 billion in real estate development happening in Chattanooga right now. Investors love Chattanooga's proximity to several major cities such as Atlanta, Nashville, Knoxville, Birmingham, and Huntsville, all of which can be accessed in two hours or less. 700 Market Street is a premier 6,000 square foot property situated at a prime hard corner location. This asset benefits from exceptional visibility and high traffic counts, making it a standout opportunity for savvy investors. This property features two reliable tenants providing immediate and stable rental income through secure leases. It's an attractive proposition for those seeking low risk investment with consistent returns. The building was constructed in 1949 and well maintained. Uh, it's located within the DC or DCX 12 zoning district, which offers flexibility for future growth. Notably, there's the potential to expand up to 12 stories, making it a compelling option for both developers and investors. The strategic location is located within the CBD, places 700 Market Street, uh, has amazing proximity to major financial institutions and government offices, fostering a vibrant atmosphere for business activity and connectivity. Additionally, the property is just a short walk from numerous notable tourist attractions. Don't miss this opportunity to invest and be in part of this growing community. Uh, Bianca's birthday is today, and we would love to find a buyer for it so we can celebrate her birthday. Thanks, guys. Well, happy birthday to Bianca, uh, because I enjoy her so much. I'm not going to sing happy birthday, but we wish you the very best. Uh, a million eight, great deal, great entry to, to Chattanooga, a marvelous market. Speaking of great Main Street marketplaces, Geneva, Illinois has been the home of uh, landmark commercial for many, many decades now. And Neil Johnson's got a wonderful opportunity to tell you about. Only two, two decades. Okay. Um, I've had the pleasure, and good morning, John. I've had the pleasure of representing this two unit 1925 retail property since 2006. This will be the third time I've sold it. 
And we've also placed at least six tenants here over those 18 years. Much of my business is based on relationships and trust, and this property has been a great example of those relationships. It is in the heart of downtown Geneva, an upscale suburb about 30 miles west of Chicago and just a block from our office. The property has a prominent location on State Street and is just steps away from the historic Third Street Shopping District, one of the top boutique retail destinations in the suburbs. The two units have large front display windows and a number of special interior features, including original tin ceilings and newer hardwood floors. Uh, besides being an attractive property in a strong location, it's an excellent condition with two quality tenants, an optical shop and a ladies boutique. With all those attributes, I didn't expect it to last long and it actually went under contract on Friday to local investor clients of mine just two days after we went live with the marketing. So unfortunately, this one's no longer available and I truly wish I had several more like it. Um, that's it, thank you, have a good day. All right, Neil, thanks for teasing us. <laughs> Let, let's go to Olivia Szynski. She and Jennifer Hopkins, Caitlin Crawford, have another outstanding lease opportunity for you uh, up in Schaumburg, Illinois. Good morning, John and SVN and guests. This is Olivia Szynski with SVN Chicago. I am presenting a lease opportunity today. 650 East Algonquin Road is a high-end office building with low asking rental rates of only $17 a square foot modified gross, which is really low for this area. The property is located in Schaumburg, Illinois, which is a major suburban commercial hub for Chicago and just a 35 minute drive from downtown and 15 minutes from O'Hare International Airport. The nearest expressway is only 1.5 miles away and directly across the street is a new development for the area called the 90 North Entertainment District, which features top golf, new residential townhomes, restaurants and shopping. Woodfield Mall, one of America's largest shopping malls, is approximately two miles away. In this building, we have suites ranging from 1,290 square feet to 7,039 square feet. And the best part is that we have spec, move and ready suites with really gorgeous finishes, including glass walls throughout to let in all the light from this beautifully designed office building. The location is ideal for a corporate headquarters. So if you have anyone looking to be in the Chicagoland area, please keep this one in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. We sure appreciate you and your team. All right, we've got some events uh, for you this week. Uh, on Wednesday, October 9th, CompStack is going to do a webinar, one on the East Coast, 10 on the West Coast. And then tentatively on Thursday the 10th, our Land and Development Product Council will have their call if the hurricane season cooperates with them. Uh, if it goes forward, it'll be two on the East Coast, 11 on the West Coast, uh, and we will keep you posted by email within our system if it needs to be delayed for weather, just like the football game last night. Uh, Friday, October 11th, our Marketing Masterminds call takes place Dial into that, 11.30 on the East Coast, 8.30 on the West Coast. And then please join me on Saturday, October 12th, for our SVN Saturday call, 11.30 on the East Coast, 8.30 here on the West Coast. And I look forward to spending some time with you uh, at that Saturday day. All right, we want to thank you all for joining us here at SVN Live. Uh, just a reminder that everything that we do for you is at www.svn.com. All of our inventory, including the newest uh, and most interesting that you've seen this morning, is on that website. Uh, we cooperate on every deal, and we look forward to closing a transaction with you and your clients. Again, we wish you all the best and a good day.